Hi, I'm Terry and this is Blanche, my self-converted micro camper. Last summer, I took the huge decision to quit my job and go traveling around Europe for three months. Join me on this epic adventure. I'm making my way to my first proper castle in Germany. Um, it's Elts Castle, it was recommended by a friend. Um, yeah, it's an absolute scorcher today. So pleased that this part's in the in the shade. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing this one. Um, pictures look beautiful. I don't know what that actually says, but it looks pretty scary. So hopefully I don't see any of those. They're up to the side to see if I can get uh, like the perfect shot, and they're actually a little bit rubbish. Like when you come up here, um, maybe if you had a zoom lens, it'd be all right, but I don't. Oh, but I'm so hot, I think it's definitely surpassed 30 degrees now. The sun's just sweltering, but yeah, the castle is so freaking beautiful what a start to see in the castles it's just it's quite breathtaking or maybe that's the walk up here <laughs> Castle, I headed to southwest Germany to explore the Black Forest. This place was always on my wish list. It's just the most incredible place to go to and like the reality of being there far surpasses any expectations you will have of the place. It is just pure magic. It's absolutely stunning. It's known for its dense evergreen forests and the picturesque little villages and you just genuinely feel like you're in a Brothers Grimm fairy tale. It's just pure beauty. Like, so nice I can't even convey just how nice this place is you have to go if you're going to Germany this area is 6,009 kilometers square so even though I was there in peak summer where you expect it to be really busy it was really really peaceful um, when I went for a swim in the lake I was completely by myself it was just a magical place to be Throughout my travels, I was lucky enough to have some fantastic park ups, but this one, overlooking the lake, surrounded by forest, has to be the best one ever. There are lots of beautiful, picturesque little villages around the Black Forest, and probably one of my favourite was Baden Baden. This is a spa town which is well known for its thermal baths. There's a real richness to Baden-Baden. It's very opulent, um, it's full of culture. It's just incredibly beautiful. The popularity of Baden-Baden as a spa dates from the 19th century when the Prussian queen visited the site to improve her health. But it reached its pinnacle under Napoleon III during the 1850s and 60s when it became a fashionable resort for European nobility and society. <laughs> from the Roman baths. Um, it was so, so nice. I feel like I've just floated 
all the way back to the van. Um, yeah, it's, after not having a proper shower or washing my hair for about a week, uh, it was like the ultimate treat. Um, it's really good value as well. It was 32 euros to get in, but that includes, it's got two saunas, two steam rooms, three thermal baths, uh, you've got a lotion room um, and then two relaxation rooms, one where you can lie down and get swaddled which is quite sweet and the other one that they've got herbal teas. Um, oh, it was just it was just bliss, it was so so good. Um, I definitely recommend going um, but yeah it was so nice. It is a naked spa um, but don't let that put you off, It's it feels totally natural once you're there. It's Definitely, like, I was a little bit apprehensive. Um, I'm not exactly the most comfortable with my body, but people genuinely just do not care. Like nobody's looking. So the rest of Bad and Bad in was beautiful. It's very opulent. It's you can feel, it can tell. It's a very rich town. Um, I had a look. Like all the shops were closed because it's a Sunday, um, and I was having a look at some of the window shopping and like a bangle was like 200 euro so it didn't make a difference to me that the shops were closed because there was no way I could afford to shop there anyway. It's, it is beautiful I would recommend coming um, if you want to shop and you have a big budget then come during the week um, if like me you don't then come on a Sunday so you don't feel too bad about not shopping here but yeah so I'm just gonna try and work out where I'm going next now um, Hopefully I'm not like just too zen out where I can drive safely. <laughs> but yeah, I shall see you soon. Well the path now going downhill so I figure I can speak. Um, so I'm heading to Bearback Waterfall. Um, it was recommended by a local so I always find that if you trust a local, you can't really go wrong. Um, it is beautiful here though. It's just like all trees. Um, yeah, it's quite nice being back in nature. I do like visiting the towns and the cities, but I definitely feel more at home when I'm surrounded by green. that it doesn't get much better than this. Lying back, eating a giant pretzel. And this view. <laughs> uh, I've just found the most amazing thing. So, so turn you around so you can see. So you've got fresh drinking water, but then there's this little house. Sorry. You've got like cold drinks. Like how cool is this? Like it's like cider and little bottles of wine and stuff. It's just it's so freaking cool. Well, I think I shall leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you know when I post a video. Thank you.